Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel and in today's video we're going to be fixing the mirror on my P3 Volvo S80. Now this is an issue that I've had since owning the car straight away. Basically it doesn't fold in or out but then sometimes it does. Um, it's very temperamental, it's a bit floppy as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart, um, hopefully fix it today but definitely work out what on earth is going wrong with it. Like I said, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, and I've a few of you guys have reached out saying I just need to take it apart, lubricate the motor, make sure it's all seated properly, and then we should be good to go. So hopefully, the title of this video will be that the you guys fix my car. But uh, fingers crossed. So first of all, we need to get the camera mounted to the window and get this mirror taken apart. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get this mirror to fold or turn out and I'm just going to hop in the driver's seat to do that. Okay so what this enables us to do is just get in here and prise out the mirror glass and um, it does just clip in like so. There we go. Nice and easy as you can see we're a bit dirty in here need to remove these two um, terminals from the heating element. Neighbours having a good time. There we go. Right, so there's our glass completely separated. I'm just going to place this there. Make sure these are clipped in. I'm going to move this away to the really good workshop. <coughs> right, okay, so next thing uh, we need to do is remove the cap off of here. Now, this is done for a series of tabs. We see one there and there. I just got to push them out really, it's a bit of a simple uh, extraction. There's one, and then once we release this, then another, and then once we release this. That should be all of them. There we go. Let's put this somewhere nice and safe. Okay, so this leaves us with this. Um, as you can see, this is a pretty filthy uh, system here. Um, so, oh, we had Bob get in the car. Hello, Bob. <laughs> Say hello. So, um, yeah, uh, my next port of call is to do a bit of digging here, really. Um, work out how we can perhaps stiffen this up. Um, there's clearly an issue with the motor in here. Um, now, in theory, we should just be able to spray some lubricant down into here and it will um, sort itself out. But uh, I've got a feeling that might not be the case. Uh, with the state of the inside of this. As you can see, yeah, it's just absolutely filthy. And I think it should probably be run without a cap on it for a while, which might have caused the issues. Um, but uh, let's do a bit of exploration, we'll see. Then let's make a start then. As you can see, Bob, Bob has made his way to the back of the car now. Um, I want to prise this little terminal out of here. It's just as simple as it clipping in. Um, so I'm going to do this with two hands. Um, rather than filming it to show you guys we actually may be able to just do it here there we go and you see it's a nice little rubber plug comes out of here right so and this will be a nightmare probably to get back in um, but that's that disconnected um, now let's see what else we need to disconnect. We've got a torque screw here, which I might try and disconnect as well. Uh, see if that releases this motor so we can get it out and have a look. 
Okay, so I've noticed something just while I'm doing a little test here. Uh, so you can see at the moment, it's not doing anything. Um, however, when we press lock and push on this little tab, the mirror starts to fold. Um, and I think there's an issue with this needs to be cleaned off. We need to clean off these connectors here. Um, and I think it's more of an issue with the feed than it is the motor. So let's give that a go. Now it comes off fairly easily. Just need to sort of prise it out with the with a screwdriver of some sort, and it's quite tightly in here, so you need to be careful really of um, how we how we sort of use and abuse it. But um, inside of this, let's see if we can get to it from this angle and take a look inside that plug there um, there's a bit of dirt isn't there I'm going to try and give this a clean out um, and see if that helps anything at all ok then guys so after a good clean out and um, I've replugged it in and we now have a working mirror again um, I don't know I think it was a combination of the making sure that this bit was plugged in um, properly and the lubrication has probably just freed it up and I've, I've tested it probably 20 times and as you can see she's working an absolute treat so um, let's get the mirror cap back on shall we oh there we go let's get the mirror cap back on um, and yeah the job should be pretty much done obviously we need to stick the mirror glass back on um, and it's starting to rain as well typically uh, so let's be quick about this shall we so when you're putting this back on, there's a number of things you need to be careful of. Um, the, main, the most important part is getting this bottom part lined up. The top will click in nice and easily once the bottom is lined up properly. Um, and there we go. Perfect. So that's the cap put back on. Um, and we now have to just reapply the mirror glass. Now for you guys, this has been a bit of a mirror heavy week or so, isn't it? Um, with fixing bits of the mirror and stuff, but um, I'm gonna need two hands to reattach these terminals and then all I'm gonna do is clip it back on. So um, yeah, I won't show you guys that. Okay then guys, so that's probably less than a minute to get all this back together. And now, as we can see, we have a fully working mirror again. Um, this is this is a bit sad, isn't it? I'm getting this excited about a mirror, but this hasn't worked since I've owned the car, which has been nearly a year. It's a bit slower than the other one, but um, I think that's just because it's been sat for so long. As I'm doing it more and more, um, it's getting better. So yeah, now we have a fully symmetrical car that won't um, look like it's got a floppy ear like a dog um, when. I lock it, both mirrors fold in. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you to the subscribers that prompted me to deal with this. Um, although you didn't suggest the solution straight away, just getting in here and sorting it out, um, like you guys suggested, has fixed the issue. So, um, thank you ever so much. Stick your name in the, in the comments below if that's what, if it was you that suggested. I'm sorry, I can't find the comment now. Um, we've had sort of like I think it's ridiculous something like 2,000 comments in the past month. So it's it's pretty crazy to try and find comments again. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.